it's Heather with Pepperware, and I don't know about you, but it looks like fall outside, and I'm just ready for some chili. So, we've got our stack cooker ready. I'm going to have two pounds of hamburger crowned. I like two cans of chili beans and a can of uh, kidney beans and some tomato sauce and a couple of diced tomatoes. I put some onion in with my hamburger. And I'm going to have all of that done up here in our stack cooker. And then afterwards, we'll grate some of that Colby Jack Cheddar, as well as some great Fritos over here waiting for us. So, let's get started. I have two pounds of frozen hamburger in our stack cooker colander. You can see that I put them into the colander, into the middle piece. And I'm gonna take and put the cover on top. Instead of it being a dish this way, we're gonna flip it over to become the cover. And we're going to use the rule of thumb, five minutes per pound. So if we have two pounds in there, that's gonna take us about 10 minutes, but I'm gonna stir it about every two to three minutes. So here, let's get it in the microwave. It's in the microwave going for 10 minutes. A little bit of onion is optional in your chili. I have just about that much of my onion that I've sliced and put into our Power Chef. And you can see our very sharp blades in there and just a few short little pulls. Watch this. tiny little onions, just enough to season that ground beef. And halfway through, I'll go ahead and add those. I just took this out of the microwave, and it's only been in there five minutes, but I wanted to see the difference. Notice how the outside portions are already cooking. See how that works? But it's the inside part that is still frozen. So that's why at my parties, I'll often say, take the part that's most cooked, put that to the inside, and put the more frozen part to the outside. But on the next two or three minutes, you'll see a drastic difference um, from this first five minutes that I just put these two pounds in here frozen. But at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just put some of our Southwest Chipotle seasoning on it. It's so good, and it just starts, you know, infusing into that meat, that flavor. Of course, we'll use our chili packet later, but I like to put that Southwest Chipotle on now. We'll go ahead and put it back in for a couple more minutes. Now, while the hamburger's cooking, we're going to go ahead and start our beans, opening those and going ahead and putting them in our three-quart dish. And, of course, if you don't have Tupperware's can opener, you know there's gears that open the can. It doesn't cut it. It unseals it. So we're going to take the edge of the can right here, and we're going to put it between those two gears and lock it on so it's flat like this. And then we just simply work it around the outside all the way till you'll hear the click. Hear that? We open it back up. See the little beak? We're going to take the beak and put it right on the edge and lift that up and off. See the glue? Look, can you see the glue? There. See, it's unsealing it. Then this is not sharp and this isn't sharp. And so we're going to just take and dump our chili beans right on into the can. If you don't have Tupperware's good spatula, you might want that one because it's it uh, will go up to 400 degrees because it has silicone in it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the rest of my cans. I have tomato sauce, diced chil or, uh, diced tomatoes, chili beans, and kidney beans is what I like. There's so many variations you can put in your chili, but this is what I like. I've already got the kidney beans started. This is after only two more minutes, and you can tell now that it's cooked all the way through. It's all at least defrosted, so I love the fact that it just doesn't take much more time. Now is when I'm going to start breaking up my hamburger and getting it into little bite-sized pieces, just like you would on your stovetop, only we're going to make sure that the more cooked parts to the inside and the more raw part to the outside. Sometimes I start kind of making a donut like that, just so it cooks a little quicker. So, so far it's been there all of eight minutes. Oh, I pulled my hamburger back out because I was going to tell you, this is now when I would go ahead and add my onions, and I'm going to add my chili mix, part of it. I'm going to put that on the hamburger. So I pulled that back out to go ahead and get that done. There, we have our chili uh, powder, part of that, and part of the onion. Of course, while the hamburger is still finishing, this is where I've added all of my beans, and you can see I have my tomatoes, and all of the sauces already put into here. Now I'm going to just tell you, somebody has asked me, Heather, but what about this white? I don't want it to turn red. Did you know that if you'll rinse in cold water and not hot, that won't set the stain? Oftentimes we think hot's going to make it better, but it actually will make it worse. Okay, our hamburgers meat are done, so we're going to go ahead and switch the two out. Now when you go to open this hamburger, always make sure you open it away from you because that steam will just steam right out and can get you. 
And we're going to go ahead and just break this on up. I see just a little bit of pink. When you start with it frozen, sometimes it might take just a little bit more time. But you know what? The beauty of microwaving is if I just leave this sitting here with the cover on it, in probably a minute, those will all be brown anyway. But see how beautifully crumbly that is and all our onion is smelling so good. But this is what you've got to see. Look underneath here. Can you see that? Ooh, let's just cover that back up. That's what we're getting rid of. I'm going to go ahead and take my cover for now and place it over here on my beans and go ahead and put that in the microwave to get it going. Of course, one of the things I love on my chili is shredded cheddar. And we have our great measure for small jobs. We've got our big uh, great master that's for those big jobs. But when I just need a little bit, I love to grate with this. Simply take and just slide my, my cheese right down. You notice it's just it's uh, collecting right into the little ma great measure area and I love that because you just need a little bit of cheese. Fresh great cheese is the best. Okay so our beans and everything are ready to go ahead and add our hamburger and looky there as it's set it did go ahead and get brown. It's one of the mistakes we often make in the microwave is we overcook our food. So we have our hamburger that is nice and brown and we're gonna just take and put that into our chili mix. Um, and now, I will tell you this, when I stir through, if I see, I'm just one of those overprotective people, if I see even a hint of pink, I might probably just put that in for one more minute. But that's the beauty of each one of our microwaves and your way of cooking. But as you look underneath, oh, yep, yeah, we don't want to see that. We're going to go ahead and take and just put that cover back on and probably put it in for one more minute. Then we're going to mix it to our chili beans and tomatoes. <clears throat> and then we're going to add that wonderful cheese that's already ready for us and a few Fritos over here in our modular mates. And we're going to have dinner. We'll be back in a minute. Here we are mixing that beautiful brown hamburger right into our already hot beans and chili mix. And it will be so quick to serve. And look at that big three quart pot of chili. That'll feed a lot of people and that's meaty. You can even just do one pound of hamburger if you prefer not as much meat. But my husband likes it really meaty. Um, you could put rotel in here. You could put jalapenos. You could do whatever your family likes. But the quickness that you can get this done for a cold night when you're ready to have dinner on the table. You can't beat this. Dinner is served. My goodness, perhaps the stack cooker ought to be in your kitchen for those of you who are quick and need fast dinners because your life is always on the run or whether you just like to spend your time doing something else not standing over a stove. Have a great evening.